Hi, I'm Rachel Lynn, and I am on a journey to living a better financial life. I'm here to give you tips, tricks, inspiration, and motivation along your financial journey. Today, I am taking you back into my budget. Last week, I posted a video about how I made a huge, like, $1,000 mistake. Thankfully, it was not exactly in my favor. It just was money that was moved around that I kind of, I kind of forgot that I was keeping extra money in my main bank account, trying to be a month ahead. It just kind of didn't really work. Um, I know I didn't try it for very long, but I guess the thought of just having an extra thousand dollars just like sitting there not earning any interest in this one account when it could be sitting in another account actually earning one percent interest was it was just too much for me. <laughs> um, plus I'm just so used to doing my budget this way that it just made sense. So it's not really money that's in my favor because it's money I had all along so it's not extra, but it felt like extra money. What I decided to do with this thousand dollars is instead of being a month ahead, I put it into my sinking fund. So now I have an extra close to a thousand dollars in my sinking funds compared to when I had the money in the other account. So um, I wanted to go into my sinking funds and show you the differences. Um, I'm going to show you March's sinking funds compared to um, the beginning of May sinking funds. Um, I know that I've talked about my sinking funds before, like where everything stands. Um, and I'm not going to go into that every single month. Um, but because there was this huge, um, you know, influx into my sinking funds account, I thought, I can show you what I have and how much money I have in each category where I decided to put this extra thousand dollars in all of the different places. So let's go into my budget, into my sinking funds and look to see where I put everything. Now, if you look behind me, no, you are not seeing double. Actually, what I have done here is pulled up two different months in two spreadsheets on in two different windows so that we can see both at the same time. So on this side, I have March 2021 right here. And then on the right side, I have May 2021 on this side. Please also keep in mind that um, the beginning of March, I spent some money in March from my sinking funds. Then there was also April where I spent some money in April from my sinking funds as well. So the money that I'm adding in is also is not really um, accounting for money that was spent. I'm just kind of showing you where I started. There may or may not have been money spent in the last couple of months from those sinking funds and then where I'm starting in the month of May. So it's not going to be perfect, but this is really just to show you where my sinking funds stand, but I want, I wanted to compare and let you see exactly where I added a lot of money and where that made a big difference. Okay, so my emergency fund, that does not change. I have a $2,000 emergency fund. Progressive, I've just been putting in the amount that I put in each month for Progressive. Progressive, I am now at $150. I haven't added anything extra. That's just exactly, um, I put in $75 a month and so that's you know built up over the last couple of months. So I'm starting out in May with $150. Now I say I'm starting out, but actually like, I put in this monthly allotted, it goes into my account at the very beginning of the month. So I actually start out the month with $225, not 150. Um, but I want to know what's in there before I've added anything and before I've spent anything for the month. So that's the way that I calculate that. Now that I've moved myself over just a little bit, you can see what I normally input. Gifts is $150 starting in March and I put in $25 a month, so obviously I spent a little bit of money, but I didn't put anything extra in there. Miscellaneous, that stays the same. It's over on the left-hand side because it is full. Um, I consider this a full sinking fund that I don't, I'm not adding anything to, so you can see that I have $0 here. My house repairs and updates, this had a big jump. So uh, $2,116 to $3,375. That's because uh, earning extra money. Um, I think in the month of March, I had some extra income and um, just anytime I don't go over budget, that extra money goes into my house repairs um, and updates sinking fund. So that's how that is able to have grown so much, plus the extra money from the $1,000 that was in there. And then for car repairs and replacement, I went from $450 to $500. So that's just the regular amount 
for each month. Clothing went from $75 to $225. So there is one area that I did add some extra money in for clothing. Um, I need a new pair of shoes, the shoes that I wear the most often to work in and to teach in. There's literally holes in them. So yeah, it's time for those shoes to be replaced. Um, and so I, I need those. And then I just kind of thought, you know what, I'm going to beef this one up a little bit. Once I get to my, um, my total amount to save for that in my sinking fund. Here, let me show you down here. So clothing, this is my fully funded amount is $300. That's my goal to get to. Um, once I get to that amount, then I will stop saving in that account. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to fill this up a little bit and then I can stop saving for clothing for the year. Or maybe this year I buy some extra stuff because I have not bought very many clothes um, in a very long time. Sorry, my screen froze for just a moment there. Um, let's keep going. Medical, I don't add anything to it because my fully funded amount is $500. My Rachel Lynn business. So this one went from $150 to $275. I did actually put a bunch of money in there because I've already spent um, just a little over $100 for a new external hard drive. Um, and I, there's some other things that I would like to buy. I would like to buy some new camera batteries um, for my camera and um, I'm thinking about buying a microphone. I think I found a pretty decent one for under $100 so I feel like that that would be a good investment um, and you know I don't know there, there's other things that I would like to kind of like try to invest a little bit more into this channel um, as well as my second channel that I just started. My family time sinking fund I didn't really add anything in there. I do kind of feel like I'm using more and more because I'm now going out with my Aunt Doris twice a week. We go out once during the week um, to go to dinner. Um, it's I, I have a, a day that I spend extra long at school and then I will go and pick her up at five and we'll go to dinner in the middle of the week and then we also go out to dinner or lunch or breakfast depending on when we go to church then we will go um, out after church. Now she eats pretty much chicken pot pies all week long like that's all she makes for herself. She has oatmeal for breakfast, chicken pot pies for like dinner and then I think she has like an insure for lunch like every single day. Like this is the only thing that she eats. So she doesn't get a lot of variety and she doesn't get a lot of good things. <laughs> now she is pretty on in years and she is in her mid nineties. So I guess whatever she's doing is working for her. But at the same time, I kind of feel like she needs this and not just like the food, but she also needs the time with family and I need this time with her. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do about my family time um, money because I feel like that keeps being depleted and I would love to go on a very inexpensive trip maybe with my dad um, and my family this summer. Um, you know, I, I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. Um, there's still a few weeks left of school. So like counting down the days. Seriously, there's a countdown on my board in my classroom. Um, and so we really are counting down the days until summer begins. Um, I'm really going to miss this class. But at the same time, like I'm so ready for summer. I'm ready to just like relax and turn off my brain for at least a little bit. That being said, I did not add anything to my family time sinking fund, oddly enough. I kind of feel like I should have. Maybe I can always move money from clothing into my family time. Um, but I'm not too worried about the amount that we're at here with the, the family time at 375. So that's it. Those are my sinking funds. That's where I am beginning the month of May with sinking funds. I feel like I'm in a good position as far as where I'm sitting. Um, if you have been around for any period of time in the last couple of months, I'm sure that you have heard me mention that my next financial goal is to save up to put new windows in my house. So I have old windows and I feel like it would be the best beneficial um, advantage to me to replace the windows as soon as possible. So that is my goal. What I need to do is get quotes on how much that's going to cost. I really have no idea how much that's going to be. Um, but one other thing that I have not told you, and I've talked to my dad about this, he just kind of lets me do my own thing with my money. But I told him that I was really nervous about spending all of my house repairs and updates money on new windows. 
Um, so what I would like to do is actually save up enough money for new windows, not just for the windows, but like double or almost double what it would cost. So if new windows costs me $1,000, then I would like to have $2,000 in that account. If new windows are, are going to cost me $3,000, which I suspect it will be somewhere around there, then I would like to have saved up closer to $6,000 before I actually get new windows. I do want new windows as soon as possible. I think that it will help me on my bills, especially with heating and air conditioning. Um, however, I don't want to spend $3,000 on new windows and only have $3,000 in my account. And then two weeks later, my water heater goes out or the air conditioning goes out. So I'm fearful of that. So I want to make sure that I have a cushion on top of my cushion. <laughs> um, I know that I have my emergency fund there just in case, but I mean, that's only $2,000. So if a big ticket item goes out, then, I, you know, I'm going to have to figure out what to do um, and only have a $2,000 emergency fund. Um, yes, I have some more money in my sinking funds that I can shuffle around, but, you know, the big portion of my sinking funds right now is my house repairs and updates. And if that is gone because of the new windows, then I don't have as much money to shuffle around. So um, that is my current plan, and um, that's what I'm saving for. Um, I plan on getting quotes on new windows probably the first week of summer, um, it, unless I have to be in school all that week. I'm not even sure. I don't even know. I need to find out. Um, but as soon as possible, I plan on getting quotes for new windows, and um, I will be here to tell you all about that, how much it costs, and um, I can tell you about how I make my decision and all of that. So yeah, that is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me and looking into my sinking funds today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and also don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.